Hey, what's up everyone? This is a Google Sheets tutorial on how to determine the number of networking days you have in a given year and how to list those work days in a column if you are to need that as well. I actually just recently did a similar tutorial in Excel and thought this was going to be a copy and paste from that, but in actuality the listing of work days is a little bit different. Um, how to determine the number of network days is the same, so we can get started there. What you'll need is a um, a sheet that has the holidays in a given year listed somewhere on it and then you'll find a cell and use the formula net work days Let me zoom in here so you can see this a little bit better you need a start date I've actually put that in cell E2 to make this easier and an end date I have that in E3 that's the start and end dates for 2023 and then for holidays you just highlight the column of holiday dates that you have somewhere in your worksheet. In this case, mine's B2 to B12. I hit enter and I get 249 work days. That excludes weekends and it excludes this list of holidays. This number is actually different than the Excel tutorial I did because I have a different list of holidays, but it still is correct for this data set here. Now where we want to list the work days, we, get, we differ quite a bit from Excel here. The first thing we need to do is we need to hard key the first date of the year. In this case, the first date of the year, 1-1, is actually a Sunday, and then the next day is the holiday, 1-2. And just to confirm that, I'll pull up the calendar. So January 2023, the first is a Sunday, Monday is the holiday according to this list, so 1-3 needs to be the start date. Unfortunately, in Google Sheets, we need to hard key that at least in the way that I found how to do this. And we have 1, 3, 2023 20, in the first cell. Then we use the formula equals workday. And the start date will be that cell, G2, that we just wrote. And the number of days is 1, because we want to skip each day, obviously excluding weekends and the holidays. It will naturally do that. And then we want to exclude those holidays, like I mentioned, so we have to sh tell Google Sheets where those are. In this case, it's B2 to B12, and unfortunately, in Google Sheets, we have to lock that, unlike we did in Excel. Then we close the parentheses, hit Enter. We see it gives us the next correct date, but to make sure that we did it correctly, let's take it all the way down to roughly 250. I forget which cell we started on here. Let's go a little bit past 250. So we went to 252 and those take us into 2024. So to confirm that we have the correct number of days, let's go from the bottom, which is 1229, which we can confirm that that's the correct end date as well. We can scroll all the way up, and we see we have 249 days, and we were expecting 249 days. Now let's make sure that it uh, skipped these holidays like it was supposed to. Well, first of all, we can see that 7 and 8 were skipped because they're the weekends. And then we can go to 116 and see that it skips 116 like it was supposed to. Let's pick uh, July 4th just to do a spot check in the middle of the year. And 7-4 is appropriately skipped. And then we see it ended for us on 1229. If we go down to the calendar and go to December we see that it skipped 30 and 31 because those are Saturdays and Sundays. So it did exactly as we expected. And this is how you perform these two functions in Google Sheets. And if you want to see how it differs from the Excel method, I've put the link to that tutorial in this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope this helps.